Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Um, for today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make phone grips, AKA pop sockets. Um, they are the 3M brand. Um, you can use pop socket brand if you like. For today, I'm going to be using the 3M brand phone grips. Um, so stay tuned. I will show you guys how to ombre, two-tone color, um, a phone grip, and also just a regular solid um, glitter color, and then we're going to be using the epoxy method to seal our decal. Stay tuned. Alrighty guys, so let's go ahead and get to today's tutorial. Um, so what we will be using is a popsicle stick our phone grip and I use Aline's tacky glue. I do not use Mod Podge. Um, it dries way too quickly for me. So I use Aline's tacky glue. Um, and again, I will link um, where I got it from. You can get it from Michael's, Hobby Lobby, even your local dollar store can have this tacky glue. Okay. Um, so I start by adding a really thin layer of the tacky glue to the top of the phone grip. I try to get it as smooth as I can, um, trying not to leave any um, like a buildup on the edges, making sure everything is nice and smooth because if you have a buildup around the edges, um, your glitter will just kind of um, kind of settle there and you will notice it at the end um, or when you're adding your glitter. Um, so just making sure the ends are really, really smooth. If it's not completely smooth, it's okay in the middle, but we want to make sure the edges are perfectly smooth, okay? Um, so the two glitters that I'm going to be using, it's literally just something I got from Michaels, a purple, and we're going to be using a pink also. Um, I'll link those two at the bottom that I got from Michaels. So um, when we're adding the glitter to this, you want to add the glitter like less than halfway um, because we want to leave a space in the middle for our ombre technique. So as you can see, I just opened up the big part of it and just kind of went all in and went less than halfway with the purple glitter. And if it's easier for you to like put the glitter in a medicine cup, um, if you're first starting off, that's how I did it. Um, I just kind of put it in a medicine cup and so I can have a little bit more control. But I've been doing it for a while, so I just use it straight from the bottle. Same thing for the pink side. Um, you're going to um, put the glitter on there less than halfway. Again, leaving that space in the middle to ombre the two glitters. Alrighty, and make sure you're tapping off the, ex the excess glitter in between on the purple side and the pink side so you don't mix them together. You'll see me kind of, you know, tap off the excess uh, so the pink doesn't get in the purple and vice versa. So now we're going to go ahead and do our ombre part. Um, when you're doing the ombre part, you want to make sure the color that you're doing is down um, because, you know, you want it to sprinkle downward um, and you don't want it to get on the opposite color. Uh, if it does, you know, it's whatever, just, you know, shake it off. Um, but you're gonna hold it up. I know because of the camera angle, I'm sorry, I tried to get it as much as I could, but I have to hold the glitter up. Um, but as you guys can see what I'm doing here, I'm holding it up and I'm holding the pop socket at an angle um, to where it's not completely flat. Um, you want it to kind of um, sprinkle down the pop socket. Um, so then you're going to switch it to the other side. Once you've done your sprinkling, just gently tap, tap, tap. You don't want to aggressively, um, sprinkle the glitter because then it can just cover that whole space, um, that you left and you'll have to start all over. So again, opening up the sprinkle side and then you're going to tap, 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 um, Again, I know the angle is horrible, but you kind of get the gist of what I'm doing. Holding the pop socket at an angle, and then you're gently tapping um, on the pop socket. Again, the pink side is down because that's the color that we're doing. 
and then you're going to flip it as many times as you need to to get the um, look that you're going for um, I think I flipped this one I think just one more time to do the pink and um, that's all that I needed but as you guys can see um, it's not hard at all <laughs> once you get the hang of it um, pretty simple but you know you're just tap 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 and then you want to tap off the excess of course um, to where again your pink doesn't get in your purple and vice versa so this is the last time that I did it um, I went ahead and sprinkled it one more time um, to just get a nice um, flush ombre look And there you go. So that's the, it completes the look that I'm looking for for this ombre pop socket. And then we'll move on to the next part. Alrighty, so for this part, um, I sprayed it with Rust-Oleum Clear Gloss Acrylic Sealer. Um, so the colors don't mix. As you can see, I'm rubbing it and the glitter is not coming off. You wanna spray it on there and let it dry for about 30 minutes, um, depending on your environment. Um, if it's hot, it's going to dry quicker than if, if you're in a colder environment. Um, so I mix up some epoxy um, and, you know, once you mix up your epoxy, you can let it sit for about five minutes to, you know, to for the bubbles to um, kind of rise to the top there to where you don't have bubbles in your mix. Um, and then you're just going to go ahead and spread it across the top. I'm getting those edges. As you can see, I'm getting the edges at the same time. Um, your epoxy does not have to be thick for this um, first layer. This is just the first layer, so it can be thin because you're applying just a thin coat to coat the top and to get the sides a little bit. You wanna make sure to get the sides. Um, and if you miss the sides, if you forget, it's perfectly fine, it's okay, because we will have a top layer. But um, I do like to add it on the sides just so the second layer um, can kind of get what we missed, if that makes sense. Um, so you can kind of see me just kind of going around, getting the, the edges of it, um, because you want to make sure to seal the foam grip to where, you know, you just don't want to get the top of it, because if you just get the top, um, you're risking the possibility of the epoxy, the glitter, and the decal just kind of peeling off. So you want to get the sides too. Alrighty, so we let you can let that sit overnight or for about hmm, six to eight hours. Again, depending on the temperature in your workspace, the hotter it is, the faster it will set. Um, okay, so now I've printed out my decal in Cricut Design Space, and I'm going to add her name to the top of the phone group. And you want to make sure that your foam grip is completely dry it's not tacky it's not sticky it's been sitting for six to eight hours um, before you place this part because if it's been sitting for you know five or six hours but it's still a little tacky and you're like okay it's dry enough um, once you go to place this decal or the name on the foam grip the um, transfer paper will stick to the epoxy and then once you try to peel the transfer paper off the entire you know top of it will come off and then you're just like back to square one having to glitter it all over again and epoxying it all over again so you want to make sure it's completely dry okay so the measurements that i use for the name is 1.3 1.3 inches um, because the foam grip itself, uh, the diameter is one and a half inches. So I want to leave a little bit of room um, and make sure the decal is not too big. But there you go. We placed it on top and then we'll move on to our final coat. Alrighty, so once we have it mixed, it is a, um, a little warm. You'll notice that it's warm to the touch because it's setting up. Um, you want to make sure the epoxy is not running off of the stick. As you can see, it's um, thicker I kind of had to just scoop it off of the side so you want to make sure it's thick sitting for about 20 minutes again depending on your workspace but you, you want to make sure it's warm to the touch and um, you want to make sure it's not just running off of your popsicle stick okay um, 
because once you're trying to get the sides like I'm doing here, if it's too runny, it's just going to run off the side of your phone grip once you place it down to dry. And you're going to have more epoxy on the base of it than on the top. And then you're going to have to add another layer, which is fine, which is fine. But, um, you know, that's obviously another um, mixture of epoxy and it's just more time. Um, so as you can see, I'm just going to go ahead and layer the entire top um, with a thicker layer than we did the first time. Um, and then you want to make sure you go around and get the sides really, really, really good. Um, go around twice if you need to. Just kind of pick a point where like I started at the top of the A and then I'm just gonna work my way around until um, I feel like I've gotten everything. You will have some pieces of glitter that are mm, a little, a little stingy and don't want to be covered but that's fine um, we're going to do some, a little bit of sanding on the next part alrighty so it's been sitting again overnight or for about six to eight hours. Um, and so now I'm just going to um, feel around the sides to see if there's any little stragglers around. Um, you can see there's some epoxy that got on the phone grip itself, but we can just pop that off with our um, X-Acto knife. Not sure if you can kind of see it in the video, but those those little spots right there that I'm just kind of popping off where the epoxy uh, just kind of leaked on there as I was getting the sides, but it pops off super easy and you can just pop them off with your knife, um, your nail or um, even your weeding tool uh, can just kind of pop those off. Alrighty, so now I'm just gonna feel around the sides to see if I have anything rough. So I'm gonna take my 120 grit um, sanding block and I'm just going to um, gently sand around the sides until I feel that they are nice and smooth. Um, and then you can also go back behind this with a 220 sanding block. Um, if you had to do like a lot of sanding, um, and you want it to just kind of buff it up a little bit. The 220 um, can, you know, help you as far as uh, buffing it out to where, you know, just get the extra shine um, on the side of it. Alrighty, so once you're done with that, you want to clean up your pop socket, get any glitter off the base of it. You can use a napkin, you can use a baby wipe, you can use your shirt, you can use whatever. Just make sure <laughs> to get um, all the glitter off. And sometimes the base of it can, um, again, have some stragglers. So um, I have to pull out my X-Acto knife um, every once in a while and just kind of gently scrape the bottom of the base. Um, but for the most part, it comes off pretty easy with like a baby wipe or, or a regular napkin. Alrighty guys, we are done with our tutorial for our ombre pop socket. Thank you so much for staying to the end and watching our video. I upload videos every Tuesday. Please like and subscribe and give a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching.